What's up everybody, I'm Dan Roto from Much Studios and today Watch Mojo is bringing you 10 questions in 10 minutes with Louis Capaldi. Louis. Hello. Thanks so much for doing this, man. You're wasting time. All yeah, right. I know. I've got to be quick. Do you have any nicknames we should know about, first off? Um, big fat bastard, loser, <laughs> sweaty, smelly uh, wow. boy, um, the man with the swamp in his ass. And uh, my friends call me Capaldi, and my dad calls me Luigi sometimes because he, he thinks he's Italian, but he was born in Easter House in Glasgow. Let's talk about your first studio album. Yeah. Okay, divinely uninspired to a hellish extent. Yeah. It's like words that I feel I've never even said side by side before. That's good though, isn't it? It is good, because I'll never forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you name an album like that? Um, so, uh, the, uh, the line, that's a line from a song that was mm -hmm. supposed to open the album, and then it just didn't make it because of it just time. It wasn't ready. So hopefully it'll be the next one. But the whole wow. songs, the songs, the opening line is, broken by desire to be heavenly sent, divinely uninspired to a hellish extent. And it's how I feel. That line is how I feel a lot of the time when I'm writing songs. Like I'm, 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 I'm kind of deflated by this, um, by this, this want to be good. You're an interesting guy, to say the least. You know, you have this beautifully written album that is these like ballads of heartbreak and love and even like post heartbreak yeah. that clearly resonates with so many people. And then you see you on Twitter, Talking on about, stage, yeah. and I'm like, you have such. Polar opposite personas. Yeah, I talk about my, my bum hole. Quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Maybe we we'll get a song about that one. Day. A butthole, it'd be a, it'd be a deep song for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. it hard to go from like this goofball of a guy to this like serious songwriter? Uh, well, I don't think I'm a goofball. I see myself as more of a leading a leading man type. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's easy then. Yeah, it's easy it just to switch in. No, I think um, it's just. I never knew. I never noticed the disparity mm -hmm. between it until people started mentioning it in like this sort of situation. Because you never really think about. It. I'm sure you're, you're a multifaceted man. I'm sure. I like to think so. Yeah. yeah exactly. You got more than one side. Of you. Yeah. So, but do, but do people look at that and just go like, they don't think it's legit when you sing about such heartbreak when they see you talking about your butthole? Mm, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, the thing is, there's a crack in my heart and a crack in my ass. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're uh, like no. always writing <laughs> lyrics, man. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, no, I think my thing is, just what I, I, I always say is, I had the best three years of my life when I was making this album because I was getting to do music for a living. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I was yeah. playing shows to yeah. people, traveling the world, seeing shit, um, playing the songs, writing all this music, and it became my job, which is kind of what I always wanted. I just wanted to be able to make a living from making music, mm -hmm. and that became reality. The saddest thing, the, the things, so the things that stick out and that amazing for years is right. sad shit. Right, right. Yeah. Because they're the bits where I'm like, oh, f this doesn't feel as nice. Right. As, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, what, yeah. these are like these massive, like, kind of potholes or speed bumps or, or whatever it is, and, or some other sort of uh, um, motorway uh, mm -hmm. obstruction. Is it easier because I, I know exactly what you mean where it's easier to create art or write songs when mm. you have felt such intense emotions yeah. but a lot of people their brain only works one way they can't write about positive experiences because it's mm. it's not as artistic of a language to yeah. do that totally. is that is that the same with you uh, I don't know I, the thing is with positive experiences it's always in my world it's always marred with like everything's got like two sides to it do you know what I mean so it's like yeah. the positive experience of me doing my job like this now is that I've travelled the world and playing all these shows and I'm, the shows are getting bigger and the songs are doing well and it's amazing to see it grow, mm -hmm. but I'm never home. Right. Do you know what I mean? So right. every every like positive in your life, this is quite bleak <laughs> now that I'm saying it loud, every positive in your life, there's a lot of shit that comes with it as well. Do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. Nothing's ever clear cut. You're never going to be truly happy because there's always shit underneath it. Do you ever get lonely on tour? Um, yeah, that's why I'm so grateful that internet porn exists. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. I, yeah, of, co of course I get I get lonely. I mean, I've got a very good uh, I've got a very good crew around me who are all like from where I'm from, and yeah, uh, they're all my yeah. friends now. So it's like, are they ha where and now are like, do you know what I mean? So and they're all, do you know what I mean? So it's amazing to have that around you. Mm -hmm. Um, people, your home is just a home is just a home is but a phone call away. What's it like to be world famous? Because like you have stands all over Twitter. Stands, you, you're, man, you're all over Twitter. We call I call them uh, big fat sexy jungle cats. Oh. 
That's what I call. I like that better. You, yeah. okay, you have big, fat, sexy jungle cats. Yeah, that was all over Twitter. Yeah, um, it's pretty. Um, I don't. Um, I don't because I'm not like a uh, like an intense level of like. I'm not like I'm not Justin Bieber as much as I would. As much as I, I hope and pray every single day of my life. You, you wake I mean? up with something. But uh, Me too. so I don't. Yeah, I don't have the that that intense thing. Everyone's very like chill. Right. They like some right. Music. So they're still like into it on Twitter and stuff. But when we meet, everyone's like. How's it going? Like, I mean, they're not smoking weed or anything, but like, they're just, they're just pretty regular. Very low key, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I so gotcha. it's like, uh, so yeah. it's not too bad, um, but it's, it's definitely strange people knowing who you are. Let's briefly talk about uh, celebrity feuds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I know you had one with Noel Gallagher mm -hmm. that's since been squashed. 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 Wow, bug. If you had um, a, a celebrity feud mm -hmm. with anybody out there, who would it be? Floyd Mayweather, right? Floyd Mayweather. Listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Listen. Hear me out. Cause, right? So we start off. <laughs> Spit, 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 not spit, but like spat back and forth on yeah. Twitter and see how much it is. Calling each other out. The tension mounts, it mounts, it mounts, it mounts, and eventually I call them out and that we have a boxing match, right? And both Walk of us it. walk away with a mint. They both yeah. make so much money. So much money. Oh, yeah. man, you, like, that's such a strategic answer. Well, you know what I mean? This is, this is show business. When you're on the road, does songwriting stop? Because you, you have busy days, like you're doing interviews, mm -hmm. show prep, you're, you're doing your show, seeing the cities you're in. Mm -hmm. What happens when you have like a good song comes to your head? You just need to write it down as quick as possible. Yeah? Is that's that like, that's the thing, half the battle with songwriting, I think, is first of all, picking a guitar up and making the time to do it, which I try and do as much as possible. Yeah. Um, and then just like, just writing shit down before you forget it. That's like, it's more like a race to like, just write. I need Quickly to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. To like, do it, do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like, well, you're on a bus, like, you could be you could be sitting on like a like a like a bus or a train or whatever it is, and you need to kind of like hum it into if you've got a melody idea you need to hum it into your phone and people look at you like a f psychopath but it's like just that way of just getting it down as, as soon as possible. Ah. Do you know what I mean? We have a lot of fans of Doctor Who. Oh, watches. cool! Yeah, 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 sweet. And um, in I guess one of your videos for someone you loved, mm -hmm. starring was Peter Capaldi, who's a distant relative of yours. Yeah, my dad's he's my dad's co dad's second cousin. Did you know this the whole time? Yeah, yeah, I knew it, but like, you never want to be that person that's like, I'm related to Dr. Who. Yeah, I know. So it's like, yeah, yeah. When I do, when I'm like, I never, I never met him my whole life, do you know what I mean? Right. Uh, but his, okay. my great grand who passed away like five years ago, maybe a bit more than that, um, it was his auntie. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it works. So like, it wasn't, it's not like miles and miles away, do you know what I mean? It's not like, right. so yeah. my, my sister and stuff, but um, um, yeah, I never met him. So I was always like, when people asked me if I was like, I was like, nah, just because it was easier. It wasn't at like birthday parties. No, no, because it was because it was just easier to like, no, I'm not, and just like move on. Right. Rather than having to explain it to everybody. Yeah. So, uh, but then yeah, last year he came down to the show, a show we did in London. Yeah. Uh, and he was lovely. And then when it came time to do this video for someone, or one of the videos for someone you loved, it was like, yeah, let's try and let's ask him if we'll be in. And it, well, okay, so will we see you mm -hmm. doing a cameo role, and maybe he could pull some strings in a Doctor Who episode. Uh, probably not, just because I don't have an acting bone in my body. Uh, ah, yeah. I disagree. Oh, really? I saw a video of you doing like sort of a mockumentary, you are back uh, home. But I was so very uncomfortable during that process. You were uncomfortable? Yeah, 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 I don't like, I don't like, as soon as like you have to, you put a camera on, it's yeah, like, yeah. now it's like a setup thing. I don't right. Like That's why I like Instagram, because I'm just yeah. talking, I'm just talking shit. Good luck with the rest of your tour. Thank you. Appreciate it. Love your social media. Love your songs. Actually, one more question quickly. Okay. Um, <laughs> Eleven. Reverse. <laughs> um, if someone goes like this to you, okay, yeah. do, you, do you do that yeah. or do you go like that? Oh no, I go. Like, I go. No, but then you go like this. You go. You go that. You go that. You go that. Oh, you, you do like, both. You yes, man. Nice. How's it going? Bye. Right. Because that could be a huge awkward moment if they're like. Oh yeah, yeah, and then they come in like yeah. Yeah, that's like the that. worst. That's so the worst <laughs> when you when you shake hands, but then the other person comes in like, yeah. and then you're kind of like doing this. You, you, your elbows are up. You're thinking, yeah, that's yeah. it. Hey, but I'm, I'll show you something. Right, watch this. This is what my dad calls. Oh, I forgot what it is. I'll show you. This is my handshake that I had with my friend in school. Right, so you go. See your handshake. This, this, punch, twist it, slide it up, come back out. That's for you. So that's what you do with strangers. Uh, yeah, that's what I do now. <laughs> Just hope for hope for the best, you know. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, good luck with your show tonight. Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>